Um, I'm Markus Specht. Uh, I'm a professor for digital education at the TU Delft and scientific director of the Leiden Delft Erasmus Center for Education and Learning. And um, I'm very happy today here to, to be a, a part of the discussion. Uh, I think it was a very fruitful, reflective and deep going discussion touching on, on several aspects of how we can use technology to, to facilitate learning and finding new ways how to, how to do that. Um, we had we had uh, lovely cases of showing the whole breadth of or the, the the whole uh, variety of using technologies from VR for programming robots, from learning networks, from learning content use in different ways. And I think uh, the discussion really led to the core questions of how much flexibility do we want? Do we need to give to students and? how much uh, richness is in this flexibility. And uh, yeah, I really enjoyed the discussion. Teacher in front of teachers is much more difficult uh, in the sense of that, uh, of course, uh, uh, teachers, I would say, are uh, they have a lot of experience they bring into uh, uh, that. They have practices how they teach. So if you, it, it can be much easier, but it can be also much harder. So it really depends on also the, 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 the openness of the context. Uh, how open are people to think about new ways of teaching, to uh, develop their teaching, the further so if you have a very reflective group of teachers that's great that's the best thing you can have but if you get the, the kind of discussions like I do this for 20 years why should I change my teaching it can be a very hard discussion and it goes into a kind of finding a convincing argument which is actually I would say not the point but it's a, a joint venture to to develop this further. Naya, in, in the world today, of, of course, technology drives a lot of changes. We're in, in the middle of a, a digital transformation of education. And, and that, is, uh, that is, of course, in the sense of that a lot of the technology drives us uh, in, in the change of our habits, in the change of our way to teach also. But I think we need to come back to the point and think about what is essential for learning and making um, humans um, develop, keep up that motivation and go back to these principles. So I, I, I see this clearly coming back. So for me, clearly the motivation to learn and to develop as a human needs to drive the selection and development of technologies.